prove that if lambda is an eigenvalue of a, then lambda squared is an eigenvalue of a squared. Proof. We'll start by supposing that we have lambda and it's an eigenvalue of a. So suppose lambda is an eigenvalue of a. And what does this mean? This means there is an eigenvector. So then we have some x, which is an eigenvector. So it's not equal to the zero vector, such that a times the vector x is simply lambda x. And we have to show that lambda squared is an eigenvalue of a squared. So the natural choice to use for our eigenvector is x. So then we'll apply a squared to the vector x. And we can write this as a times a times the vector x using associativity. And now we know something about ax. It's equal to lambda x. So this is a lambda x. And now we can use associativity once again. And ra or rather, lambda is a scalar. So it commutes with a. So we can write this as lambda ax. And this is simply lambda. And then we can do it again. ax is equal to lambda x. So this is lambda x. And this is simply lambda squared x. So we have a squared x equal to lambda squared x. So that's precisely what it means for lambda squared to be an eigenvalue. So it is an eigenvalue of a squared. And that's it.